going on, Pisces? It's your girl D with A House Energy here to bring you your uh, October 2019 Silent Enemies reading. Thank you to those who are returning. I appreciate your love and support. If you haven't subscribed, please do so by clicking the subscription button and then click the notification bell. Um, that way you'll know when I'm posting. Um, for those who are new, welcome to the site or to the channel. Appreciate you coming and checking me out. Hopefully everything resonates with you or this reading resonates with you. Now it's general, so it may not resonate 100%, but just take what does. No need to force anything because you will know with this type of reading what's going on. So let me tell you about this reading. This is the Silent Enemies reading. This reading is about anybody who's in your vicinity or who's in your energy on a regular basis in your, in your, that you're dealing with. It could be a family member, a friend, a co-worker, a colleague, an ex-lover, an ex-friend, a landlord, uh, just somebody that you're dealing with um, on a regular basis, your child's father, your child's um, you know, mother. <laughs> Doesn't matter, okay? Anybody. All right, that you're dealing with who just doesn't have the best intentions for you. It could be something as light as you just getting on their nerves today and, you know, they really pissed off with you about something to something as severe as someone just not wanting to be bothered with you anymore or someone who is out to bring you harm. OK, and like I said, you're not going to try to force this. If it fits, you'll know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay out three cards. Each card represents a, a sign, right? And um, I'm going to go into detail as to the type of energy that you should be aware of related to this sign. Now, if I pull out a cancer and you say, well, I don't know any cancer, so it can't be me. I'm, rela I'm not relating to this. That could very well be true because it's a general reading. But also, the person could have cancer somewhere in their chart. Just because they're not a sun sign cancer doesn't mean that their Venus is not in cancer. Doesn't mean that their Mars is not in cancer. All right? And when you're dealing with silent enemies, you de you, you're dealing with sometime affairs of the heart. And your Mars is how you handle situations and how you handle challenges. So they could very well have it in their Mars. You never know. It could be anywhere in their chart. But even if it's not, right, they could just be taking on this energy. Okay, so focus on the energy that I'm talking to you about. Because again, if it resonates, you will know immediately. It doesn't matter what the sign is. So, let's see what the cards are that we're going to put out for you here. Oh, I'm going to turn these this way. Because we don't do the reversals with the uh, major cards here. Alright, so, Pisces. I'm showing that you should be concerned about a Scorpio. You should be concerned about, hmm, what is this? Let me check my reference. Yeah, I'm showing double Scorpio here and I'm showing Leo. All right, so let's check out this Leo first and see what's going on. Actually, I'm going to split them up. I'm going to do Scorpio, then Leo, then Scorpio. That's usually what I do when I get two similar signs here. What do we got for my Pisces for October? Oops. October 2019. All right, let's lay the cards. So, this Scorpio here, this Scorpio energy here, this could have been, yeah, this is somebody you may have been in a relationship with or someone you may have met and you started dating. This could be somebody who was married to someone else and um, they're trying to choose. They're trying to decide who they want to be with. This is somebody who's got a few options. Um, they could have been with someone that they were living with, someone that they had children with. Could have been, doesn't necessarily mean they had children. But it looks like this is someone they could have been married to that they were um, dealing with here. Um, they could have been dealing with more than one person here because I'm showing um, that they're going to be trying to reach out to you. You guys have been through this before. You've been through the back and forth, the in and outs, the ups and downs before with this person. This is nothing new. Um, it looks as though you're maybe not sure what to do about this person. You could have lived with this person, okay? But somebody has more than one lover, and it's either you or this Scorpio, all right? And the Scorpio's coming up as your enemy, maybe because they realize that you have someone else, Pisces, and that you are dealing with more than one person. Perhaps you're not being honest with them about it, okay? 
Um, they could also be in a situation where they're going through a divorce, okay, and you're trying to, um, you know, see what's going on and maybe they might be reaching out to let you know um, that they're going through this process finally where they're going to move forward with a divorce, but it looks like they're dealing with more than one person besides you, okay? So um, just keep that in mind, all right? Um, but let's just see here because it looks like this person is going to reach out and maybe if they already have, you're trying to make a decision. It looks as though the truth is going to be revealed if you guys haven't already talked and communicated. And you guys are going to try to work things out. Um, you're trying to be supportive to them, trying to be a friend to them. But yeah, this is somebody who's going through a divorce or someone who was recently divorced. All right. And it looks like their divorce is coming to an end here. Yeah. And it um, looks like they may want to work things out with you or they're, or they're dealing with someone from their past. Um, and their their concern is they're just working things out for the children. They could be telling you that as well. But um, they you know you're trying to decide what you want to do, um, and you want you want a passionate beginning with this person, for sure. But it's very difficult for you guys to get on the same page. Very difficult. So this might be why this person is showing up as a silent enemy because you guys are having problems communicating. Take it how it resonates. All right. Now with this uh, Leo energy. This is a situation where somebody made the wrong decision about something. Somebody decided to leave. Somebody was dealing with someone who d wanted something for nothing. There were a lot of people involved in the situation. This was a very rough, difficult relationship. Um, it was a lot of drama, a lot of aggravation. Um, and you got tired of it and you cut this uh, Pisces off. All right. And... Um, or, or someone cut you off, Pisces, one or the other. Take it how it resonates. Um, somebody didn't want to be single. Somebody wanted something more serious. But it looks like a decision was not made in that manner. Okay? So somebody decided that they were leaving and they wanted a brand new beginning. Okay? Yeah, it looks like this person... Somebody wants something serious, but somebody's not ready. All right. Somebody received clarity about things and they really, yeah, somebody was very depressed about this situation. Very stressful uh, situation. Hard to walk away from, but there was definitely other people involved. This person could very well be married or have a family that they are can take into consideration. Or you could have children with this person, which is why they're coming up as a silent enemy. Because this is somebody that things did not work out with, but you still have to deal with this person because you have children with them. Yeah, you could have been blinded about what was going on, but this person was very deceitful. And they were very self-centered and thinking about themselves. Um, and you realize that, yeah, this is somebody who was out here just doing them. Okay, doing them. Sleeping with other people. You know, like I said, a lot of people. A lot of people involved this is somebody who had a lot of options all right so if you were dealing with the leo or the leo was dealing with you this is what i'm showing here for this energy now let's take a look at this other scorpio so a scorpio wants you to make a decision about something so this very well could be you this first part of the scorpio uh reading that i was talking about you could be the one who needs to make a decision because the scorpio looks like they may be recognizing you but in this scenario here, it looks like this Scorpio is somebody maybe who drinks a lot, could be very emotionally um, abusive, verbally abusive. You guys have gotten into a lot of fights, physical or not physical fights, but there's been a lot of tit for tat. Looks like you and this person may want to stop fighting. They want to stop fighting. They want to um, find out with you what it is that you're going to do. Okay, this was a very strong sexual uh, relationship. Um, there was more than one person involved in this situation. All right. And you guys um, are moving slow, you know, but you guys do love each other. Um, I'm showing that for sure. But there was a lot of stress in the situation, a lot of fighting back and forth, a lot of restless energy in reference to what's being done and how it's going to be done and how you guys are going to move forward. Someone may not feel that they're ready to move forward, but this relationship has a lot of potential with this Scorpio, a lot of potential. But there's a lot of uh, sexual energy between you two, a lot of chemistry. Um, there's no love here right now because somebody might be hurt. Somebody might be feeling taken advantage of or somebody could be feeling stuck in this situation. But somebody left. Somebody's watching. All right. So the Scorpio could be watching you. Um, you could have put in all the work that you felt you needed to put in and this person, you know, may not have been appreciative of it. This could be somebody that you have family with, I mean, children with, like I was saying with the first set of Scorpios over here, this could have been somebody you were married to. 
All right. And someone feels very betrayed in this situation. All right. But the kids are the priority here. So you're stressing, trying to figure out how to make that work. And, you know, there's no equal give and take in this situation. So the Scorpio basically wants you to make a decision as to how you want to proceed and how you want to move on or how you want to move forward. All right. So I'm going to go ahead now and get you some advice from spirit. We're going to use the Crystal Angels Oracle. So this is going to be advice coupled with the stone that you can use to help you, um, you know, carry out the advice that Spirit has for you. So let's see. What do we have for... Ooh, two popped out, but we got to move on because we can only use one. So what's going on with Pisces? October 2019. What's going on with Pisces for the Scorpio and for this Leo energy? What's going on? Now, with this um, Pisces energy also, I just want to say that uh, this could be family with this Pisces one. Okay? Could very well be family. Doesn't necessarily have to be a lover, but it looks like there was a lot of drama going on with the family. Uh, a lot of, um, you know, deceitful, um, sneaky behavior. Maybe someone being deceitful behind the other person's back. You know, someone lying. Yeah, so that could be a family situation as well. Doesn't necessarily have to be a lover. They're always flipping over two at a time. Oh, what we got for my Pisces? All right, we got Ruby. Ruby. And it says, bless your heart. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. Let's see what Ruby has to say here. Ruby. It says you receive this card because your heart needs some tender loving care following a loss or ending of a relationship. You're grieving and could use a reassuring hug, which your guardian angels are giving you now. This can also be a sign to reach out for emotional support for a heartbreak or after a heartbreak. In some cases, this card may mean that your physical heart needs care and attention. Perhaps a healthy dietary exercise, perhaps a help a healthful dietary or exercise change or medical intervention is needed. This can also be a sign to connect with your sacred heart of Jesus for spiritual healing and purification. God is blessing your heart and guiding you to take. Uh, the path that's true and right for you. Now, about this ruby, the actual uh, stone, this deep red gemstone is second only to diamond and hardness, which symbolizes your strong, healed heart. Rubies soothe and heal you physically, energetically, and emotionally. So it looks as though you, you're going through some, some situations where you need some healing. Like I said, with this Scorpio energy here, you guys have been through it. So this could have been someone who was verbally, um, emotionally um, abusive to you, narcissistic energy. Um, this could be someone who has uh, issues with drugs and alcohol, alcohol specifically. But yeah, this was a third party situation where they were dealing with more than one person. So you could very well be suffering emotionally, spiritually, and you could just be drained with this relationship. But Spirit is giving you advice saying that if you work with Ruby, it'll help you to rejuvenate. So you also want to take better care of yourself. Eat better, you know, make some healthy dietary changes or helpful changes to take so that you're strong enough to get through what it is that you're dealing with here. Now, in order to work with this stone, I don't have Ruby here to show you, but what you can do is you can buy stones as small as this little piece here and carry them around like in a little satchel or a talisman bag. Um, you can put this in your backpack. You can put this in your pocketbook. Just put all the stones in it that you like to work with in it, okay? You can also take the stones. Um, if you carry them around with you all day, you can also, for more intense therapeutic purposes or, you know, more intense healing, you can sleep with them under your pillow, Okay, you sleep with them under your pillow anywhere from two weeks to a month. And then every morning you wake up, whatever downloads you get, you write them down in the morning or you record them. Because when you're out and about, your subconscious is picking up frequencies that your eyes can't see, that your hands can't touch. 
intangible things, intangible energies. They're picking them up. And in order for them to relay them to you, it has to be through a download. A lot of times your downloads come through your dreams. So if you guys are not dreaming, you want to work with some crystals so that you'll be able to dream. This is a very simple, real simply effortless way of, you know, getting in contact with your higher self and working um, out your problems. Some people can't afford therapy. Um, gemstones work really well if you, you know, research them and look for the ones that you're needing to work with and you work with them accordingly. Something as simple as sleeping with them each night and recording what you uh, dream about the next day and then going back after you've collected some of the uh, dream energy that you've written down and you review that energy. Um, what I tell people is when you dream, you know, you want to write down the details of the dream as much as you can remember. But if you don't remember much, just try to remember the way the dream made you feel. Because that's going to be a key part of what you are going to need um, in order to move forward. Because if you're having dreams and they're telling you, for example, say you're fearing something. Somebody's chasing you. Someone's trying to hurt you. And you're feeling fearful when you wake up in the morning and you write down what you can recall. It may not be much, but you remember you were scared to death. All right. So what that's telling you is... You need to look at what's going on in your waking life. What is going on in your life that's making you afraid? What is it that you are afraid of doing? What is it that you're putting off doing? And why are you putting it off? What is it that you're afraid of? And that will help you to start thinking about what's going on and to take a hard look at what's going on in your life and to figure out what you need to do to resolve it. All right. So I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope, Pisces, that this helped you in some way, shape, or form. And that if it resonated, please click the like button. You can leave a comment if you like. I'm about that comment life. I love to read the comments. I think they're very insightful and they help me, you know, because I know that I'm connecting with you all. So, Pisces, I wish you the best and I will reach back out to you uh, for your November Silent Enemies 2000 reading. You enjoy your uh, month here and I'll see you then. Peace, Pisces. Love you.